This isn't your average beef pot pie. All purpose flour for puff and always combine the sugar and salt now before you add your cold butter. I like to use my raw hands for this, feeling the butter squish between my fingertips. I want to flatten it. I don't want to break it up too much. Big pieces, small pieces, it's all good. Just add ice cold water, a few tablespoons at the time. You don't want to add too much. I always start with four or five and go from there. I don't need any more. You know how I know? That's how I know. If you want puff to be right, you got to let it hydrate. Overnight is always best and wrapped tightly in plastic. Tomorrow we're having pie with chunks of beef and puff pastry. I know it's gonna be good. See the hunks of butter? I'm excited. The flour's hydrated, the butter's still there, but it's cold. So we can roll it out for the first of three bookings. Roll it out. You can see that butter smudging. That's what you want. Fold it into thirds, wrap it up, and chill, we gotta do that two more times. This is where I stop my arsenal to make this rich gravy by toasting Cascabel chilies, which are also gonna bring a little heat to the potty. A nice piece of chuck, cubed up appropriately. This is for a pie. You want it bite size, right? My nose tell me the chili's ready for some water. My other flavor enhances, porcini mushrooms, and a couple of prunes for sweetness, but not just sweetness. They're gonna add richness too. Butter and olive oil in my Dutch oven. Brown off that meat with a couple cloves of garlic. We want that garlic to infuse into the beef while it browns. Browning is flavor. You like flavor, right? Look at that beautiful color. That's what you want. But you wanna capture that fond with your mirepoix. The only fresh herbs in this, a piece of rosemary, but you're gonna want it there, trust me. Time to add your mushrooms. Now's a good time to season. You want those mushrooms to release their water. A little tomato paste, as if it's not gonna be rich enough. A little flour will act as thick enough for the gravy. And those chilies, prunes, and porcinis, blend it up, will deglaze that pan along with some beef broth. Add your beef back in. Smells so good. Smells amazing. Check for seasoning. A second infusion of black pepper is always a good idea. And this is so rich, a little Worcestershire to wake it up at the end. In your baking dish, before we go into the fridge to cool, just in time to book our dough a third and final time. You know what they say, three times a charm. We need that filling to chill. Roll your dough out for your last time. This should be more than enough for this pan. But for maximum puff, you don't want that rolled edge. You want a cut edge. Exposing those layers. Like that. You did that. Place your puff pastry on top of your pie. Puff pastry always gets egg wash. A sheet pan will keep this operation neat. And a 400 degree oven will ensure that the puff puffs. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is flaky. That's uh -huh. beef pot pie 2.0. Let's talk about the gravy. Rich and super rich. It has that gentle sweetness. That's warm hug food right there. Warm hug. It's, it's a good hug of a food. That's my new favorite way to have beef stew.